One of the new trends I've seen in sports card reselling is people buying flat rate boxes. That's right, flat rate boxes, reseller boxes. We've seen them in the resale game. Usually they're trash, right? Usually trash, just people looking at all of their junk. But is it the same in the sports card world? Can you make some money off of it? People say they do. So I'm gonna take a chance. We're gonna try out a couple flat rate boxes and see if we can make a profit. Let's go take a look at the first one right now. All right, so here we are. We've got our flat rate box. It's pretty heavy. Um, medium flat rate. This box cost me about $85. It's all low end cards from what I understand. Um, a medium flat rate box, you could usually get about 2,500 to 3,500 cards, which would break down to about three cents a card at $85 box like this. Usually, I would want to try to stay under $50 a box, keep it under two cents a card. But even in at three cents a card, I'm okay with that. I'm a low-end dealer, volume dealer. So at that price point, I should make my money back and, you know, keep the store pretty full. All right, so you heard me say I like to try to stay under $50 a box. This one was $85. What's the reason? Why do I try to stay under $50 a box? Much like other reseller boxes, you never know what you're going to get. A lot of people use that stuff to dump inventory they don't want when it comes to sports cards usually when you see a flat rate box like that it's a ton of junk wax era commons or somebody that buys a ton of you know hobby boxes blasters looking for hits um, they get the hits and they just want to unload everything else and get some of their money back so they could go try to get the next score um, it's not something that's going to make you a lot of money because you're not going to find great cards but like i said earlier I'm a low-end volume dealer, so getting those $1.50, $2, $3 cards, that doesn't bother me. And if I could get it at $0.03 cents a card, and even if over half of those are comments that aren't going to make me any money, I'm going to wind out on top. What I'm going to do right now is open this box and see what kind of big cards we got, if there's any. Um, from what I saw, I think they'll be right on top. So let's get that open. Not sure how this is packed, so I'm trying to be careful. All right. All right, good. The cards that I was curious about, they're right on top. There were two cards that were really the reason I bought this box. First up is a Josh Donaldson opening day. Um, BCCG Toys R Us Purple 9. Um, that card's not really going to be that much money. BCCG. But the card that really had my interest and had me pay more for this box is actually this Mike Trout 2013 Tops Opening Day. Eh, not a big set, but it's Tops Opening Day and it's a Mike Trout. It is the Gold All Star Rookie Cup and it is a PSA graded card, a PSA 9. So I figure $85 box. Normally I want to stay under $50, but. This card, I think, could probably get me 2025. And at 2025, you know, it brings me down to about 60, which is closer in line to what I would normally want to pay. Um, so yeah, this is the reason why I paid up a little bit. As you see, everything's packed pretty neatly. It smells like this might have come from a smoker house. It really does. This box stinks, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it really stinks. But cards don't smell too bad. I know, right? I'm sniffing the cards. Um, a lot of cards, they're just packed in rows, which of course makes me a little nervous just because you see how these bottoms are kind of crushed in a little bit. So hopefully cards aren't too damaged, but that's a risky take in getting a box like this. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna bore you guys by going through each card for you. There's a lot of cards in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this stuff, sort it all out, and I'm going to come back and show you guys what we got, some highlights, an exact card count, and price per card uh, that we paid. So let me go sort this, and I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back. We have that flat rate box fully sorted right here, a three-row box completely full. And the total number of cards in that flat rate box, 2,354.
That's right, 2,354 cards for, I think I paid about 85 bucks. That's gonna break down to three and a half cents per card. Now I did throw away a couple hundred cards, so the 2,300 total is after the couple hundred I already threw away. So those aren't even factored into my buy costs because I trashed them. These are the ones I'm gonna focus on. So let's take a look at the cards. Now, first thing I'm gonna say is I am kind of disappointed in the box. Um, do I think I'm going to make my money back? Yes, I'm going to make my money back. Do I think I'm going to make a big profit? Definitely not, but I never thought I would. Um, can I double up? Yeah, triple up. That might be a stretch, but sure volume. I think that's a possibility. So basically, let me put this back. We have three rare here. From here, where this tag is, on is all stars and well-known players. Those are the ones I'm going to list first. This row, this row, and back here are all your semi-stars, your commons, um, you know, a bunch of stuff that you're just going to need to find the right people that want them. Uh, what I found was there was a lot of, you know, it looked like a set breaker or somebody who just bought boxes and they just wanted to get rid of the cards they don't want. Um, did get some, you know, Griffies, Ichiro, but a lot of Gypsy Queen, a lot of tops, a lot of tops, some vintage... And, you know, just a lot, a lot of base cards. Um, very minimal inserts. Um, the seller, yeah, the seller was smart. Um, but this is why I was testing it out. What he did was, these were two prominent cards. You know, in his listing, we've got this BCCG, Josh Donaldson Purple, graded to nine. And then, Topps Opening Day, All-Star Rookie Gold Cup, Trout, PSA 9. Not sure if that focused in, but yeah, PSA 9. So, looking, this card, I think I'm going to list 25 to 30 bucks. Um, there's a couple blue parallels right now that go for 50 to 60. So, I think this I could probably get like 25 to 30 because it is Trout. Um... That will make a significant amount, amount of the 85 bucks back. After that, I'm going to list all these individually, see how they go. You know, they're just base. A lot of base, but star players. A lot of rookies. Let's see, Dustin Pedroia, Mookie Betts, Blake Snell. There's an insert, but yeah, not much. So that's what we got right there. But yeah, for my first flat rate box, it probably was about what I expected. And I said early on in the video, I'm pretty sure I paid a little more than I'd like. I normally like to stay under 50 bucks a box, but I paid 85 and it was, again, because of this trout. Um, after that, consider this for 50 since I think I'll make about 30 with that. I'll break even, definitely. Two, three times, most likely, but will I... Will it be worth the time? That's the big question. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to sell through this. It's going to be a while. You know, single cards like this, especially based, they're long tail. So is this something I would do again? Yes, definitely. Would I do it from the seller? No. Um, not going to put their name out there because I'm not going to do that to them. But it was all base. It really wasn't advertised like that. So I would not go back not knowing if it's base or inserts. Um, other sellers who do flat rate, they make that known if there's inserts and parallels and things like that in there. So lesson learned. And the second reason, remember that smell I talked about? It's still kind of there. Um, it's not as strong now that I've been letting the cards air out, but there's definitely a smoke smell. So these have to air out even longer before I can sell them. Um, so not knowing that the cards were going to be smoked is a big turn off for me. So yeah, I would definitely do this again. And you know what, guys? I did. Box two is already here. I'm going to go open this up now. And you can see about this box in the next video. This one's got football, basketball, and baseball. Can't wait to see what's inside. Catch you on the next one.